to including the stunning new images tonight, the new details from the investigation into the assassination attempt on former President Trump. Video obtained by ABC station WTAE appearing to show the alleged gunman Thomas Brooks walking the perimeter of the rally about one hour before the former president was shot. And tonight, the FBI briefing lawmakers and a disturbing timeline has now emerged. The gunman was actually identified as a person of interest 62 minutes before the first shots were fired. He approached security, but when he saw the magnetometers, he apparently backed away. And the Secret Service saw him on that roof a full 20 minutes before he fired at the former president. So what's going on here? Pierre Thomas studying this timeline. Here's his new reporting tonight. Tonight, studying new images appearing to show Donald Trump's would-be assassin, Thomas Matthew Crooks, one hour before he opened fire. Police believe that this is Crooks, in a video obtained by ABC affiliate WTAE, walking near the campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, on Saturday, at one point looking towards the crowd. Sources telling ABC News, Crooks walked toward the security entrance with the magnetometers, did something suspicious, is approached by authorities, he backs up and fades into the crowd. Tonight, the FBI briefing lawmakers who gave ABC News a detailed timeline. At 5.10 p.m., Crooks is first identified as a person of interest, a full 62 minutes before the first shots. At 5.30, Crooks was spotted with a range finder, which can be used to determine distances for target practice. Sources telling ABC News he's able to get on that roof by climbing over air conditioning units. At 5.52, Crooks was spotted on the roof by the Secret Service, a full 20 minutes before the shooting. 6.02, Trump takes the stage. 6.12, Crooks fires those shots, killing one man and nearly taking Trump's life. A sniper killing Crooks 26 seconds after he fires the first shot. It is a split-second decision, and uh, they have the ability to make that decision on their own. But how Crooks was able to get on that roof undetected still sending shockwaves through law enforcement. And local authorities in Butler, Pennsylvania, starting to push back. The deputies under my control did their job and went above and beyond after the shooting stopped and the chaos began. And sources telling ABC News that before the rally, local authorities warned the Secret Service that they would not be able to provide enough police personnel to cover all the buildings. Sources say the Secret Service asked for a police cruiser to be stationed at the building and that the request was denied. Officers were stationed inside the complex of buildings, but somehow everyone missed Crook climbing onto that roof. And this new video coming in tonight of former President Trump being brought to the hospital minutes after being shot, surrounded by Secret Service. And David, it didn't look like he was surrounded by Secret Service to me. Can you imagine? Why did not, why did Secret Service not secure that building? If they knew that many minutes in advance, why didn't they do something? Why did they let Trump get on stage? Why was there not enough police coverage? Could have called in the sheriff's department. Could have called in the state troopers. Could have called in, called in the National Guard. Oh, my God. Folks, if you don't see what's going on, you are blind. 